uh, we, we exported uh, 1.2 million tons uh, of manganese uh, in the course of uh, 2010. Although we are going to uh, export at full capacity in 2011, the mine is far from being completed. We still need to build the uh, Raro mine crushing system, we still need to build and construct three uh, stacker reclaimers, but our philosophy has been from the beginning was to start earning money as, fin as soon as possible. In 2008, long before we had anything on the mine built already, we started with contract mining. Uh, so we started immediately to earn, to earn uh, uh, funds to help uh, with the, for the funding of the mine. We are in fact trying to repay the, all the shareholders' loans before the mine is in fact being completed. We, we have invested about 1.2 billion rands. The, uh, the shareholders provide about 510 million rands of, of loans. Renova is our 49% partner. Renova contributed the initial capital investment that was required to get the project up to bankable feasibility. And they also contributed the majority of the debt funding that we required uh, in order to build the mine and complete the project. And the constraint in this particular area is the issue of rail. The consolidation of trans alloys under umbrella of UMK is a very good way for beneficiation. Kalahari, Northern Cape, is the best opportunity for solar parks and solar farms between 100 and 500 megawatts. The joint venture started in 2004. We are still going to put up a center plant. We exported to China and Europe. It is disappointing as a country just to be contributing 15% on our manganese in the market and I don't think it's appropriate. Mining must be one of the priorities when it comes to infrastructure. Some people have called this the saddest mining story in South Africa where we have 80% of the world resources and as you opened with only 15% of, of the actual market and one of those constraints you also alluded to is rail. Government is opening space for private participation.